Hey, this is James T. Khan, and I'm going to try to keep this video pretty quick. I noticed when I was going through the code, something kind of odd in the voxel code. And uh, that's here on this line in our voxel game. We have this uh, shader configuration, and it's being set to GL front, which I thought was strange because the default is to use GL back. And normally you would want to call the back faces, if anything, not the front faces. So let me show you what will happen if we try to render a regular model with the front faces called. So I'm going to switch it over to render this teapot that I just quickly popped in from the libgdx repository just so you can see why the uh, front face calling is an issue. And if we come take a look at the teapot, I can see inside it. I, you know, I can see the inside of the lid, which is strange. The front faces are not being rendered. They're now being called. So those outward faces. If I go inside, we can see that the back faces, the internal faces, are being rendered, which... You know, we don't want that uh, when we're, generally speaking, you don't want that when you're rendering a model. If anything, you would just do no calling or you'd call the back faces. There may be exceptions to that, or there are exceptions to that rule. But generally, we want to call the, the inward faces for performance reasons um, and render the outside faces. With that same teapot, if I go ahead and comment out this line, which means we're going to use the default setting in libgdx. And if we want to see that, I can... Um, Control click onto this, negative one to inherit from the default coal face. If we go back here, you'll see the coal face default uh, is GL back. So all I have to do is comment this line out to, to use the default value here. And if we go look at the teapot again, we can see now the outside faces are being rendered. The inside faces still aren't. Um, you know, we could change that too if we wanted to, but for the sake of this demonstration, um, we're just going to use the front faces and we can see that um, it now looks normal. The problem is if I now go and switch, uh, let's switch back to rendering the voxel world instead of this model. Because we've uh, now switched the coal face to um, coal the front faces, well, we're not seeing the voxels anymore. So that tells me there is an issue with the um, with the, with the way the, ver the vertices are set up on these voxels, because um, we can see them when we have an OpenGL calling the front or the back faces, it seems like we're seeing the back faces. So there is an issue there. And as I mentioned in the first video, I'm not sure of what the history of this voxel code originally was. I'm thinking maybe they were, uh, whoever coded it was um, accustomed to doing clockwise winding and maybe that's why they just put that GL front in there to fix it. Uh, but uh, I won't go into this in too much detail. If you're curious what's going on or if you're not sure what winding order is, you can look it up. And winding order generally has to do with how you are ordering or structuring your vertices. Um, so you can take a look at that if you'd like because um, this goes into phase calling and our winding order as well. And just to uh, do one more test to kind of verify and show, yeah, this looks like a, a vertice winding issue, is we can call GDX GL. Uh, GL front face, and we can actually tell um, OpenGL to use a different winding. Now, by default, OpenGL uses counterclockwise, and that, I believe these vertices are using clockwise, and that's why we're that's why we have these um, faces basically being reversed. So if we if we now tell OpenGL to be uh, clockwise, uh, and we run it again, now the faces are 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 correct. So we're, we're seeing the out faces, the outward faces, and underneath those faces are now being cold, the back faces. So with that being said, I, I went ahead and, and fixed the issue. I had to do a little bit of trial and error, um, up updating the vertices and the order, or mainly updating the order that we are setting the vertices in our voxel chunk. Um, I can bring that code up real quick. I'm not going to step all the way through it. I find the videos seem to, to do a little better if I don't spend too much time going too far in depth. But I'll show you just um, what those changes look like very quickly. Uh, while I was going through, I tried to add comments in our voxel chunk class for when we're creating the different faces to make it easier to um, understand what face we're, we're currently um, working with in the vertices. And um, other than that, if you want to look through these changes, you can. Uh, it'll be in the GitHub repository. But these are what I needed to do to change that winding order so that we can now have um, back face calling working properly. And so I'm just going to grab these changes, copy them, and bring them over to the current project so we can verify that uh, the issue is now resolved. 
So there we go. And if we go back, we can see that um, we've now removed that line. So we're no longer culling the front faces. Let me remove that uh, clockwise winding. And if I run it again, now the voxels are, or the faces are correct. We're seeing the, uh, the front faces are getting rendered. The back faces are being culled. So I think that's all we needed for this video was just to correct these faces now. Um, if you know, if you happen to know why it was coded the other way around, uh, maybe there's a reason for it I'm not aware of. But um, to me, I thought this was a necessary fix if we want to try to bring in some other models down the road. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching.